sure you're all right? Mm, yeah. You know, if you get a headache or blurred vision. I'm fine, Paddy. That's why the hospital kept me waiting for ages. When I should have been here. We should stop saying that. It's awful. I'm glad you were spared it. I'm straight after your mum. Never said goodbye to her either. Liv had the two people that meant the most to her. She was surrounded by so much love at the end. Hey. Thought you managed to get some sleep. I couldn't. I just keep replaying it over and over again. I just keep seeing her little face. Knowing she was dying. You and Vinny were with her though. There is nothing that anybody could have done. There's everything that I could have done. Because I told her to stay at home. I could have come back to the village before now. Oh, love. She was my little sister. I was supposed to protect her. No. It's only been a day. I well, we could do a joint one for Mum and Liv. Whatever. Yeah, but that's not your decision to make. Vinny's next of kin. I'm sure he'd appreciate the help. I don't think we should be talking about it. Well, it helps me to focus on something practical. I wonder if it doesn't help us. Me. Aaron. So this is exactly how you were, straight after Grace. What? Sorry. It's, it, 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 it's all... It, it's so... Unbearable. I, I, I'm so useless. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, right, I'm going to go and check on Vinny. So unfair. Paddy and Aaron could be back any minute. I had to see her. What happened to Liv? Hmm. Yeah. Yes, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's like I'm holding it all in. Siren's in pieces, and if I let go. I hate seeing you hurting. Hey. One day. One day I will take you away from this. <sighs> what you like with washing machines? Doing your laundry. It's jammed. Must have been finishing a cycle when the power cut happened. Right. There should be some screwdrivers around here somewhere. That's a good job you're here, you know, to help Vinny. Yeah, well, I'm not helping. I'm going back to Marco. As soon as the funeral's over and done with, I'm going to crack on with my life like I never left. Aaron. Liv never even got to visit us. Marco's not even met her. Yeah, but you saw her, you came home. We had so much we were going to do, though. We had... We had plans for the future. <laughs> and even when I wasn't with her, at least I knew she was there. Just... Come here, come here, come here. I'm sorry. I'll miss her. At work, when I saw her name on the water, I always knew it would be a good day. Is your mum okay? Thank God I'll found her. Oh, what do you mean? He was there when she got hurt. Left my mum to sort herself out and carry Joe's to his car. You were with Al again. What? He took you to the hospital. That, that's all it was. I should have mentioned it. The only reason that Liv was out in that storm was because of you. We thought you were seriously injured. I didn't know she was going to be crossing the road at that precise moment. You can't blame me. You made me tell her that I wasn't staying and my life in Italy was more important than her when really it was you I couldn't stand to be around. I'm sorry. Yeah, like you were with your mum when she died and you missed it for him. Don't you ever learn? I promised you we were over it and I've kept it. I've just seen him leave here. Even if you never see Al again, I will never forgive you for this. Liv was everything to me. And you know what? I wish it was you that had died.